Aunties, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing good, good, given the current circumstances. Anyway, we move. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Nondi God, aka The Gods. If you suddenly across my channel for the first time, here we are fat and fabulous. Here, we are on a budget, but still fabulous. And I dive into some lifestyle content via the occasional vlog. So if that's something that's up your alley, please feel free to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell. So don't miss any of my uploads going forward. Anyway guys, I am super excited about today's video. It's something we have not done on the channel. And it is um, a new series called Same Fit Done Fat. Um, I, I was inspired by the hashtag Same Fit Done Thick. But since I don't identify with thickness, I'm fat. I've decided to dub it Same Fit Done Fat. So if you'd like to see this week's installment, please stay tuned. Um, I have a feeling you guys have an inkling of that I've been wanting to do something like this for the longest time. I gave it away in one of my videos that I was going to do um, a Kim Kardashian inspired lookbook. Um, since I have honed down and zoomed into my personal style, out of all the Kardashians, the only person who speaks to me there is Kourtney Kardashian. So I've decided to mimic or emulate some of her looks. Um, so without further ado, trial. So okay guys, I'm not going to do it traditionally when I'm throwing in the clothing of item because nothing is new. I'm happy for this period in our lives primarily because we've got so much time on our hands. So again, I will reiterate outfit planning. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, so I've already got the first outfit on and you can tell I'm feeling myself. Um, so yeah, just move back for you guys in a bit. Just put on some shoes and, and move back for you guys a bit so you guys can see the whole fit and we'll discuss it. And here we have outfit number one. Guys, as you can see, I'm feeling myself. I think I did pretty good. Obviously, you guys all know the white shorts from Donate. So, see you guys, cost the way, cost the way. White t-shirt from Woolies. Um, and these strappy heels from Fashion Law that I got long, long ago. The only thing I feel that I'm off is obviously the texture of the t-shirt. She's like... A woven um, woolen t-shirt vibe but this is the closest as I'm getting and the shoes I do have a pair of new strappy heels but I just feel the uh, mixed metal just gives more character to the outfit and it's very simple obviously Kourtney Kardashian does not have curls nor does she beat her face but I am and the guys so here we have outfit number one um, I think guys I would give myself an 8 out of 10 Comment down below what you guys would give me, um, primarily because I don't have the correct shoes, um, but that's just a personal preference. Obviously, you can wear nude heels, but I just feel it's going to muted too much, and it won't be me. So, obviously, um, I have a bag that is nude as well. I obviously don't have the Givenchy Antigone, but I have my saddle by Duke. See, again, versatility, and we stand a versatile queen so i think it also goes just hand hold it like that on a rea realistic basis would i wear this definitely but i wouldn't necessarily gravitate to wear, wear heels and um, high heels because as you guys can see i'm not need so um i don't think i would gravitate but if i need to be i would but i love this outfit so so much it's so so practical and that's another reason why i love um courtney she's very practical because she's got children and yes, she dresses up, but her street style for me is so yeah. So guys, here is outfit number two. Um, I just have on my short shorts, which you guys all know I'm sick of hearing or seeing. But again, versatility. Um, from Jam, I also going to distress them myself. If you are new, you obviously don't know, so I gotta reintroduce the shorts. Um, and then um, I've got this um, vest, it's a nude vest, which I got from Pick and Pay Clothing. It doesn't have support, that's why I'm sick from my titties. Um, I think a nipple showing through clothes is a look, but each their own. Um, and then I obviously have on my kimono, you guys know I made this. And then I just keep on the same heels, she's wearing nude heels. I just don't feel like changing my shoes, so this is look number two, and I'm living for it, guys. Again, Courtney is probably a one fourth 
of my size he's petite 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 and hence short her thing because she can pull them off but guess what nandi god at a size 46 can do the same so never ever limit yourself so yeah and then we're gonna have the same saddle bag because we do not have a Givenchy and to go in which i think is what she's um carrying we have our saddle bag our versus our queen once again um so yeah i would definitely give myself an eye out of 10 guys this is to the t and then when i'm on but comment down below for outfit two what you'd rate it can we all agree can we all agree courtney kardashian courtney kardashian guys this outfit is just a pair of trousers that she has but hers on the side have um they're navy they have red and white i do mine just have a thin um white stripe guys okay let me just get through the outfit before my excitement um i have these trousers they're like track pants but they trouser risk from zero trouser from choice i got them for i think for 40 guys i think 2018 even but haven't been making use out of them don't know why but see it's because i've got time i know what's in my closet now then this face obviously from woolies i'll hold it from you guys then um i have the same sheets of gold strappy mixed metal gold mixed, mixed metal strappy heels she's got on a pair of post fakes um heels which i've been on around for long but i'm just not buying into it i don't think i trust the plastic i don't know it's just me but ha i'm living very simple not something i would uh, usually wear obviously because heels are not my thing but i'm loving this and i'm loving the heel thank god she doesn't have a bag but here we have this look uh guys out of all the looks that we've been eating up um i don't like this one it's not appealing to me at all but in in general my name was in the beauty um it's just a pair of blue jeans that i got from fashion world very happy and then this jump this hoodie actually is from asos but guys at jams like 100 bucks and then um these block hill pumps nude block block hill pumps i got from south house these were my work shoes guys so imagine um i got them like 2015 so i've had them for long long long, long. they're very comfortable um the reason i'm saying that i don't like this outfit doesn't necessarily appeal to me primarily because i wouldn't wear as much as i'm for athleisure i wouldn't wear heels with a hoodie a hoodie like those are polar opposites and just too extreme for me but obviously if i can put on my white sneakers from h&m <coughs> this is a look for me um so she's not even carrying a bag she's just on her phone so let's pretend i'm on my phone <coughs> sorry guys i call them but anyway guys i would give myself an 8 out of 10 for this particular outfit tattered jeans are there it's just the color of the jumper that's off because hers is a bit um <coughs> salmon i'll call it salmon it's a dusty pink um and then i have the nude heels on but mine are not stiletto nude heels probably because i'm not going to buy them ever so these black heels are comfortable for me and are a happy marriage between the two so yeah this is this look obviously someone might appeal to someone and it looks very nice on Kourtney Kardashian and maybe someone else could interpret it another way but the way I've directly interpreted it it's a nightmare for me but it's like yeah, and it's comfortable it looks comfortable but yeah for the look so for this outfit I don't know outfit number one I have to start with the pose because I'm gonna let go of this dress for you guys and you guys are gonna see Anyway, guys, this is just a simple look. I'd even wear this to campus. I am just wearing this um, crop suede uh, motor jacket that I got downtown Joe and what three, four years ago. Um, and then I just love the crop length of the dress. I don't want to wear my biker biker jacket because it's a bit longer and it looks just cuts more from the wrong place when I'm wearing a dress. It's better with jeans. But anyway, the dress is from Pimmel Bean. You guys all know it if you've watched all my hauls. But anyway, it's a dress. It's a spaghetti dress from pretty little thing and then the boots i got from mr price these are the boots i was telling you guys well you guys have seen these boots right on, the, on my channel in my last year's um winter essentials so i just have these ankle boots 
with silver finishings and then the silver roses. This outfit is very cohesive and it's the most practical for me to go to campus with and just run errands, whatever the case is. The reason I'm holding this dress like this, guys, is because this dress is very loose and that's because I've been wearing it. Um, but after I've washed it, it goes back to its normal form. And the fact that I'm doing this is because I did not take you guys, so I'm just a ruler. So yeah, it makes me nice when I'm standing like this. Uh, sorry. But anyway, yeah, I'm giving myself a 10 out of 10, guys. I don't care if I don't have combat boots. The boots are the same. Jacket is the same. Dress is the same. Because a combat boots are my style, guys. And this is my style. And I think I ate it. Tell me what you think. Ta-da! Here we have the final look. This had to be my favorite look on Courtney. I remember this outfit very, very well. It has stuck in my mind for the longest time. She wore this outfit when they were in the, on their holiday in Cuba. I probably watched that episode five million times. Absolutely love it. Love the feeling. Love the looks. Courtney was just killing it and killing it with the shorts and stuff. You even got another picture where she's got navy um, leather shorts and a white. Oh. She just looks perfect. Anyway, this is my interpretation of Courtney's outfit. Just, you know, this, guys, I think you've seen in my special occasions or occasions lookbook. It is a piece of fabric that I have tied in a way that makes it look like a sweetheart boob, neckline boob shoe. Hers is obviously off the shoulder, but... Ah. And now I'm in Ninja, yeah, so I've decided to do this because tribal, tribal. Then she's also got a choker on, and I have this Demelo choker that I've had for young since even Gobi in because I sold it wrong. I don't know how I used to wear this, but um, yeah, it's very uncomfortable. So yeah, and then I just have on my white h and sneakers. I think I killed it. Oh, shut it back. I obviously don't have a white bag, guys, and I don't think I want a white bag, so... This is how Queenie it came up. And she's standing like this, of course, <laughs> against the wall, obviously. But I really like this look. I simply love it. So I think for me, this is a 9 out of 10 because the top isn't the same. Otherwise, the concepts are there, everything, 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 everything. So comment and let me know what you guys think. My boobs look so cute in my makeshift top. Anyway, guys, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of our video. Absolutely, absolutely enjoyed it. Um, I hope I was able to give you guys an idea on how to emulate your favorite icons um, looks or your favorite looks just from across the web. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.